What's up guys? Alright, so, oh, I just about fell back in my awesome chair. Um, okay, so this is Russ with rwgresearch.com. Just got home, and uh, some of you saw my video I just uploaded, um, and some of you are just going, Russ, what is going on? Um, because there's so many things going on, and it's like, it's like some of you have an issue with me um, kind of floating around to different projects. Um, but there's always a reason for doing this. Um, and I want to just share with you guys. i got to quit saying, um, if you notice that. Anyway, so I want to share with you guys what the plan is. Again, I did this once before, but I'm going to do it again. And uh, this video is really wide screen, so, which is nice. But when I'm this close and holding the camera, you can't see my whole face. Anyway, um, so here's the plan. Um, as you guys know, I told you this before. And in order to create, okay, the gas for the EPG, I have to make sure I can process gas the way that uh, either Stan says to do it or the way I want to do it or whatever. Just as long as we can do it. Um, and I'm just going to be making it how I think it'll work. And I've been studying this stuff for so long. I've read so much information. I've done a lot of stuff. A lot of other people have given me input. Um, not, just, 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 not just my collaboration, but a whole bunch of people's. Um, if you go over to the forums, open-source-energy.org, then you will see all this um, information, as well as a lot of Skype conversations and phone calls. Um, so what I want to do is um, inform you guys, again, some of you newbies out there that haven't really been able to follow my work, in order to make the gas for the EPG, you have to process it to get the iron ions to adhere to the argon and then try to get it to form a lattice. How do we do that? Well, um, like I said before, um, I'm going to be trying it with HHO. And um, how does this all work? Well, you, uh, you can take a gas and you can ionize it. You can take away free electrons and you can add other electrons that would adhere to the missing, uh, the, the, uh, the atoms that have missing electrons and you can get them to be stable again. All the gases uh, want to be stable. So if you can take away stuff from it and add a different something to it and make it stable by giving it eight electrons, then you can kind of play with that. Um, and that's what the EPG gas is all about. Argon and iron ions. Um, I, um, ionizing the argon and uh, introducing iron ions and then you have a magnetic gas um, after you line it up with uh, magnets. Okay. So um, What's up with this uh, cell that uh, Al is letting me use and I'm modifying? I don't know where it is. Thanks upstairs. Okay, what you know? What's this all about? Well, um, as you know, Bill Williams is letting me borrow a cell, and it is a split gas cell. It creates hydrogen and oxygen separately. Um, that is wonderful for certain tests, but for other tests, I want to create this gas in the same chamber. Um, is there a difference? Possibly. It may be different the way the molecules combine and the way they come out of that chamber. Um, I can always just take build cell and tie the tubes back together and wham, I have HHO again. But to actually do this the way I want to do it, I'd like to be able to also use a cell that's constant. Um, I will be um, flowing water through that cell, like I said in the last video, and it will basically take off the extra bubbles. Makes it the process more efficient because whenever you uh, have two plates like this and you create HHO or hydrogen and oxygen, the oxygen's on one side, hydrogen's on the other side, and those bubbles form on those plates until they get big enough to where they rise off the plate. Well, the whole time they're growing, you're losing surface area here, to an extent. Um, so when you force the bubbles off the plate, you create more. It's the same thing as trying to sand the plates down to have more po points and stuff like that. Same similar thing. In my opinion, it does make it a little more efficient. Um, and so I'm going to be taking this gas, it's HHO gas, and I'm going to be meter meter mixing it. Um, one thing I want to do is play with the principles that Stan talks about. Um, and one way to prove that some of his work is valid, and I know a lot of other people in the world have tried different things and just can't get stuff to work. So I want to try to do this on a scientific level. I want to be able to meter mix gases on my bench top. So I want to get some sort of a uh, um, device where I can hook up hydrogen, oxygen, um, ambient air, uh, whatever gases I'd like to hook up there, um, non-combustible gases, argon or uh, 
what's the other one, uh, CO2, um, okay, and, and meter mix these things together and also run this stuff through an ionizing chamber, as Stan talks about. One thing I like to do is just ionize the incoming air into this cylinder. And the other thing would be to ionize the HHO, which is what he talks about doing as well. Um, and so all these things have to be done um, in order to create the gas for the EPG. So all this stuff works hand in hand. Um, the uh, rustic frequency generator, it's part of the testing for Stan's original uh, resonance type cell. Okay, so all these things are kind of being worked on together. Lots of different people are helping. Um, it, it's all it's all got to be done. So it's you know some of you are going Russ, why don't you just get one thing done and move to the next thing? Well, it doesn't necessarily matter what I get done first because I still have to go back and figure out the other part of the uh, problem. So I could build a whole EPG and get it done and, and it would look great, but it wouldn't help anything. Um, so while I'm waiting on parts and I'm gathering up more information and, and doing my thing you know I can do other experiments and tests why, I, why I'm able to do that. Another thing uh, or reason that I want to try to do this is because I, I really want to prove that you can truly uh, adjust the burn rate um, the way Stan that kind, kind of the way Stan says it um, you know using recycled exhaust gases that are already burnt um, ionizing there to make it uh, more of a combustible uh, flame front all these different things and they're pretty simple tests and I just uh, that's kind of what I want to do um, and then as some of you know okay that's that half now the new half this new camera doesn't have a time running on it so I don't know how long I've been talking I'll have to figure out how I can get that up there yeah so anyway I don't know how much time I got left so I'll talk quick um, as you guys know um, I did get a, a donation for a camera I also wanted to share with you what else um, was donated um, I, I actually have a good internet connection now so hopefully you'll be seeing higher quality videos the last two videos I posted was with the new camera and uh, at full resolution that this camera has seems pretty good let me know what you guys think um, and then also uh, some backup hard drives right now I don't have anywhere to back up my stuff and it's not a very good thing and so now I'll be able to finally back up all my stuff I'll be able to go live and do Skype calls with uh, like smart, smart scarecrow and stuff, and be able to actually do that. So it's very exciting for me. Um, I'm very I'm very blessed to uh, to have these things. And uh, I I kind of wrote that uh, that other video. Um, a passerby tells the truth about Russ. Well, the reason I labeled it like that is because I just wanted someone else, a third party opinion um, from someone else. And these these people are not who you think they are. They're not. That these I, I've known these people for a while and I've been talking to them for a long time and they're actually the ones that have donated the equipment so for those of you who are kind of freaked out don't worry I, I don't just let strangers into my home and, and through my lab and stuff that I, I, don't, I don't do that um, so I just want to let you guys know no worries let it go um, but uh, I do appreciate the concern though so, so no worries there either I, I really do I mean you gotta be you gotta be cautious and there are some uh, people out there for things like that and you know I'm just gonna keep cooking here keep sharing you guys what I need you guys to do is uh, uh, favorite all the videos that you watch from me and and share them as to as many people as you can and you've got to do that so so that all these people get collaborated together we gotta we gotta work together on this stuff it is a group effort it's not just me doing the work and you guys learning um, all the input from everybody is definitely needed so I don't know how much time I have left I just wanted to say uh, all the things I just said I think I hit most of them. I'm sure I'll remember some that I forgot. I always do that. But yeah, so happy Halloween. It's the 31st of October. Yes, that would be Halloween. Um, and so I'm going to go out and uh, bring the kiddos around and dress them up. It'll be fun. Go see some people and uh, get some candy so I can uh, fix my teeth more at the dentist. Uh huh. Ew. All right. Peace and love, bros and sisters and whoever you are out there. Uh, thank you. Please share the word. And uh, slowly but surely we will get this done. But I've got to take it a step at a time. And i got to work on what I can when I can. And uh, it seems strange, but all this stuff is collaborating together to make a final say-so. Um, so I just want to let you guys know that. My wife says the same thing. Russ, you don't have anything done yet. You just keep moving around. Well, yes. But there is a reason for it. Read Stan's work, 
everything I'm doing is always concentrated around that. I, I don't think I've done anything else lately that is outside of the, the realm of uh, proving what Stan has done. Okay? Peace. Leave me a comment. Uh, oh, before I go, and I might have to cut this. Uh, emails, YouTube messages, all these things that I don't get to respond to. I do read them all. So just because I don't send you something back doesn't mean I didn't get it. So please continue doing that. If I don't respond, um, I do apologize. Like always, eventually I'll get back to it. I'll have some time. Peace and love, guys. See you. <laughs>